The largest and the most gentrified city in Canada is Toronto, which served as the province of Ontario's capital. It is home to a diverse range of tourist sites, including Niagara Falls and the internationally renowned CN Tower, as well as museums and galleries. There is a never lack of the things to do in this city from the thriving entertainment district. With the newest musical and great dining to the ancient distillery quarter. With its distinguished stores and restaurants housed in beautifully preserved structures. The city center of Toronto is very famous because many of the key attractions are close to one another and there is a subway system to travel greater distance. If you are visiting Toronto in winter, head indoors to explore the extensive park network of underground walkways that connects shopping, entertainment and attractions in summer winter along the beautiful waterfront and enjoy the beaches and park. For a complete look at how to spend your time in see our list of top tourist attractions in Toronto. In this video we are going to be taking a look at the top 5 places to visit in Toronto. And just wait until you see the number 1 that we are going to be showing in this video. Which is something you would never even have thought of so make sure watch till the end. Number 5 City Hall and Nathan Phillips Square The still widely praised new city hall dominates the Romy Nathan Phillips Square with the bronzy sculpture. The Archer by Henry Morey It was created in 1965 by the talented Finnish architect Willigio. The city hall is made up of two arc shaped high-rise buildings of 20 to 27 floors respectively that are encircled by a smaller circle center structure that is kept or flattered. A man-made pond in the area in front of the municipal hall served as a popular skating ring in the winter. Number 4. Wander through S. G. Lawrence Market S. Lawrence Market is home to a variety of vendor selling range of food items, flowers and specially things. It is built in 1850. Toronto's St. Lawrence Hall operated as a community gathering space and a performance venue. This is a great place to stop in the bite or eat or to unwait with friends over a cup of coffee after shopping or sightening the area. In the summer, outside terraces on race places allow you to soak up some of the warm sunshine. The building offers a distinctive ambition for the market and is occasionally utilized for film shows. Despite the fact that the hall was rebuilt in 1967, much of its original charm has been preserved. Number 3. Tour Casaloma Visit Casaloma standing amid immaculate gardens. Casaloma is a remarkable structure that resembles a medieval castle in certain ways. It was initially built in 1914 for eccentric Canadian multi-millionaire Sir Henry, who was among the first to discover and capitalize on Niagara Falls financial potential. It has almost 100 rooms including 30 bathrooms. Visitors can take a peek back in a time to a time of European luxury with alternate rooms and secret passages an 800-foot tunnel towers, chambers and 5 acres of estate gardens as well as lots of mansion places. Number 2. See the animals at the Toronto Zoo About 5000 species make up the remarkable and diversified collection of the Toronto Zoo. 
Some of the most popular ones are lions, tigers, giraffe, penguins and many more. The zoo is separated into a number of parts each of which represent the significant area of the world. Other features of the Toronto Zoo are the Great Barrier Reef and Gorilla, the rainforest and the tundra track with polar bears. Number 1. Catch the show or dine in the entertainment district. The CN Towers, Scotia Bank and Arena Rogers Center and other museums are just a few of the prominent attractions in the Toronto's entertainment sector which occupies a sizable portion of the city's core. It is also renowned for delicious food and most notably for performance and shows. King Street which runs between Spadina Avenue and University Avenue is where the most of the action take place. The entertainment area Toronto's equivalent of Broadway in New York comes to life. This is a location to view important theater plays including musical concerts and other performing arts. In the evening and is a wonderful place for nightlife. The Toronto's Symphony Orchestra's home venue Roy Thompson Hall is among the most well-known location in this area.